Hi, welcome back to Shepherd of some more jumping puzzles. Today we're in Metrica Province and we're going to be doing Goem's Laboratory. Now, Goem's Laboratory, it's another one of these really well hidden uh, jumping puzzles, and you can see it when you're kind of doing your questing through the zone. If you look up in the northern area, you can see this floating island, and it looks too detailed for it to be just, you know, scenery. Maybe it's something we're going to go to in a later expansion or something. So, whilst questing through this zone, I knew there was something there. I didn't quite know how to get to it, and I've taken a bit of a pointer from somebody else. Uh, and I've done that. The way that I normally do these things is I, I like to know where the jumping puzzles start, and then I'll figure it out of my own accord. So there's at least some level of challenge there for me. So we've gone to the Quattle Waypoint. It's kind of in the centre of the zone on the on the far east. And, uh, there shouldn't be this many dead panthers around here, so I'm not sure what's going on there. We're going to come down here, down the side, and we're going to see this... If you look closely, there's a cave opening, which I never spotted when first going through this zone, but there you go. And we've got a little bit of a jumping puzzle thing going on in here, and that's going to get us to the start of the actual jumping puzzle. This is pretty straightforward. We've got these these steps, and uh, what you can't actually see there is, uh, as a Azura, you'd probably be the only race that looks like it could fall off those steps. But actually, if you push forward against the next one up, you don't actually fall off, so just a little tip there for you. Yeah, this isn't... This isn't anything tricky. It's just going to get us up to the height of the portal. That's going to take us up north. You can see the portal there. Uh, big bit of floating rock that I probably want to keep an eye out for. These jumps, these aren't straight, and these are a little bit tricky. Uh, and I use a speed increase, and actually with the speed increase it does actually make it more difficult, so might be worth taking it off. Okay, so before we go through the portal, there's the exit portal on the left that you may have seen whilst just, you know, questing in the zone. That's where we're going to come out. We've got a bot here. It's a bit like Spec's Laboratory. It's going to allow us to teleport between uh, sections of the puzzle that we've completed. And on the right-hand side, we've actually got a chest here that you can open. I think... As I've mentioned before, I think they're kind of reset every day, so if you want a quick chest that you can open, then this this is probably the quickest one you can get to that's been reset. Okay, right. Now, we're at the first station. This is the Windy Station. And, um, yeah, you may have seen this. You may have seen other people doing this jumping challenge. I follow Wow Crendor. He does some funny Wow videos, and he's got a compilation video of him failing at this video. Uh, sorry, this jumping challenge a number of times. We're not going to do that. We're going to do this in one attempt because, you know, we're pro. What can I say? <laughs> Took me a lot of practice to get this down. But anyway, right, the way this works is we can't just go through the portal that we saw there to the left. Uh, we need to be attuned to the portal first. So we need to find something to attune us. And the attunement, it's like a little attunement station, is on the right. So we've got these floating bits of rock that we can just fall down onto. These aren't tricky. There's no challenge here with these, really. Take a bit of falling damage there, but that's, uh, that's no, no problem. When we jump over here, we're going to get a mob that's going to spawn. He's a spider, just a normal spider from what I remember. Oh, bat, sorry, not a spider. If you're doing this and there's other people here, they may have killed that uh, bat for you, so you won't have to do that. Hopefully, you're lucky. But we weren't this time. Okay, so I'm not sure what those little floating islands are there for. It looks like they're there for something, but they're not. Uh, there's the attunement. And uh, that gives you a boon that lasts for 20 minutes, and you lose the boon if you die. Uh, the How do you die? Well, falling off isn't actually going to kill you. It's going to take you back to the uh, first portal, and you can teleport back in again. Uh, you can die from mobs killing you. Okay, now, where we took a... When we 
kind of went to the right. This is where we went to the right. So if you go left here, this is what we're going to try and tackle. And you can see this is why it's called the Windy Station. We've got gusts of wind blowing us, or trying to blow us, blow us off. And um, yeah, there's two here. This is the first one. See somebody just fell off there. <laughs> you don't have to be careful. There doesn't really seem to be like a pattern of how the gusts of wind blow. It just it seems really random. But you know, you just have to try. This gust of wind blows us back, so you don't really have to worry too much about this knocking you off. As long as you lined up correctly, you should be fine. But it does have a massive hitbox on it, so just take your time, should be fine. There you go. And when you get to the to where you jump up, it always seems to glitch out a little bit, so don't worry about that. It's just uh, I think it's I think the game is saying if you get to the edge of the the branch it will just pick you up and put you on the rock, okay? So now we've got three gusts of wind and these are a bit more tricky. They seem to go um, farthest, uh, middle and then, then closest. And uh, But there is a, a random factor in there as well so you just do have to be a little bit careful of, of timing it right. Are we going to go? Are we going to go? And I, that, that looked like that should have knocked me off to be fair, but uh, I'm not going to complain. I know some of you that have probably tried this will put, be thinking, he's cheating. Exploits ban him! Um, I'm not, I don't, you know, I'm a good player really. I've already got the achievement, why would I need to? But anyway, this uh, once you've got past that, that's probably like the hardest part of the entire jumping puzzle done. And if you've got the attunement, uh, you don't need to come back to here, that's fine, it's brilliant. That's the first station done, the windy portal, or the windy station. And we're going to go through the portal. We've got the we've got the attunement, so that'll take us to uh, the lightning station, I think it is. And uh, this one looks dangerous, but it really isn't. So we have these kind of islands that are being zapped by lightning, and there's a very distinct pattern here. So we get the one, one, two one and then repeat if you jump on the one the first one of the sequence you'll just get across fine as long as you don't hang about you'll be able to do it if the lightning does hit you it's just going to give you a little knock back it won't not enough to knock you off an island so go go one one two one and jump on the first one and you'll get across okay Right, at this point we've got a, a tree trunk going down and the attunement here is on the right. So we've got another ranger here doing it and unfortunately they're leaving their pet in the way which is a bit of a ball ache but uh, it's one of the bigger pets as well. And uh, at this point if, you, if you've got vertigo then tough shit really. <laughs> you really do need to look down and you can see the entire zone beneath you. Uh, and again, we've got a, another mob here. This one's a veteran. A little tip. If you think you're going to have difficulty fighting a, uh, a veteran mob, don't bother fighting it. Just walk up to the attunement station, get it, and go through the portal. It's absolutely fine. You don't actually need to tackle those. Okay, now we're just uh, through that portal. We're above where we've just gone to get the attunement. Uh, we've got the route there, so... Let's jump across here, this is fine. I'm going to go here to the right. Cheating a little bit because we've got that other ranger's pet there that's guiding us. They're going a little bit quicker than we are, but we were doing commentary at the time, which uh, ironically I'm not using whilst uh, for this video. So we have here uh, another lightning station and another gust of wind. This gust of wind is pretty simple to get across. And the lightning is as well. We've got a one, one, two, one again. But that's actually easier than the first, uh, the first set of lightning. Okay, and the third and final station. This is the frosty station, I think. So uh, let's get on with this. The frosty station. This is. This can be a little bit deadly. We've got that blue, frosty thing that's coming up from underneath. And what that's going to do, if, if it hits you, 
and it can hit you if you're stood on an island like this. It's going to give you a condition, and it's a condition that immediately cuts your movement speed by 66%. And it will do that. If you're in mid-air, it will actually do that. And to be fair, it goes very regularly, so it's not there's no random factor there. So if you think it's going to come up again and you've got a jump to do, just don't risk it, because if you fall, you've got a... You don't have a lot to do again, but it's just a bit of a waste of time. So, let's get on. We've got a gust of wind here, very simple one. Don't even know why they've bothered to put that in. And then we've got some elementals here that we have to deal with. Nothing too tricky, they're going to put an AoE effect down. Let's move out of the way of that. Nice. And again, we need to find the attunement. The attunement, I can't remember exactly where it is. It's over here, I think. Another element to kill. And that AoE is at range. So, uh, I guess... I guess what I can advise you there is just to be a little bit careful of... Uh, dodging off the side of the, of the cliff. Because you wouldn't want to do that. That'd be wrong. Okay, that's the way you need to go once you've got the attunement. We don't have the attunement. So we need to double back on ourselves here. We've got another couple of little floating islands. Mm. Again, nothing too tricky. Mm. These islands are, that we're landing on are quite big, which uh, always helps. We have another bat to kill. It's kind of spring out of nowhere. Uh, I've got, I think, a really bad weapon combo, which is why I'm not swapping to an alternate weapon there. Right, now here we've got a champion elemental. I think, to be careful of, we've just seen that the, the elementals have got an arranged AoE ability. And they will go into combat when you get quite close, so don't hang about. On this island here, they can attack you and it will do, give you a knockback. So, be careful. Again, you don't need to actually fight them. Just get the attunement and go through the portal. Okay, so there's the portal we're going to go through. We've just appeared above where we had the, uh, the the fork in the road, so to speak. And we've got some more of this like frost cloud here. So again, just be really careful because it will it will kill your speed mid air, and you'll just sink like a bridge. So just take your time, and you'll be fine. Wait for the condition to fall off. Sometimes the cloud, the visual cloud, will disappear before the condition has fallen off. So that's just one other little tip that I can give you there. Always wait for the condition to go first. And it's gone, so let's uh, let's fall to our death. Okay, so we didn't quite do it in one attempt. But when you fall, just so you can see how it works, you get to speak to the bot and you get a choice of the three stations to go to. And we're going to go to the chilly station, not the frosty station. And we just have to do that again. We've still got the attunement, folks. We didn't actually die, so we can skip most of this out. Alright, let's do those jumps again. Let's wait for this condition to fall off and then go for it. Come on, man, go! Got a bit of, little bit trick in there. I could have gone for that. Excellent. And on these uh, last two islands, you don't get that frost. Wasn't sure whether we did or not, but let's just uh, let's just go for it, man. Let's go. Oh, that was a little bit too close. And there we go. That's the end of the final station. And this is Goem's laboratory. It's pretty awesome. Typical Azuran laboratory, I guess. If you're lucky when doing this, you'll get an event to actually fight uh, Goem. Got another one of these. These are actually pretty difficult, these little stepping stones. Probably the one of the hardest things in here, actually. This and the one at the bottom is pretty tricky. 
There you go. Defeat Goem the Mad. Goem's just here on his own. He's going to pose no problem to us at all. This will be unpleasant. He just put this little line up. I'm not sure what that is. It's obviously something for combo. Uh, a combo finisher. But I'm not familiar with uh, that ability. But these things seem to bounce off that wall. But uh, nothing... Nothing too tricky. Although we did kill John C. Raven, which I'm not... I'm not very happy about that. I think we'll get our own back, though. And there you go, go M the Mad, complete, complete the event, a uh, bit of XP, a bit of karma, a bit of coin. We get to loot him, and continuing you. along through the lab we get a splendid chest as well, which is nice. Okay, that's go M's lab. It's not as difficult as a lot of people are saying. I think they're just being a little bit retarded. But it's a lot of fun as well, it's a nice little challenge for you, so have a go at it and uh, you know, let me know how you get on and I will see you next time for more jumping puzzles, there's still loads to get through. See you then.